What if I told you that gender plays a huge role in shaping your cat's behavior and personality? Are male cats truly more sociable, or is it just a myth? Why are female cats considered better hunters? In this video, we'll uncover the key differences between male and female cats. These differences mostly concern cats that aren't spayed or neutered. Altering can change a cat's behavior significantly, and we'll also be discussing exactly how in this video. Let's start with aggression and territorial behavior. When we think about territorial behavior, male cats often come to mind first. This is no coincidence. In the wild, their role was to protect their territory from intruders. And while your living room might not be the wild, to your male cat, they're still the sheriff in town. Scientific studies show that elevated testosterone levels in male cats can lead to a higher tendency for territorial aggression. They're more likely to mark their territory, not just physically but also with scent. This often involves urine spraying, which we'll touch on in more detail later. So how can you handle this territorial behavior? Here's a quick tip, use pheromone products. These mimic the natural facial pheromone cats use to mark their territory, making them feel more secure. Provide enough resources like food bowls, water sources, and litter boxes to avoid competition. But don't be fooled into thinking female cats are just passive observers. They have their unique way of asserting dominance. Even though it may not be as visible as their male counterparts, female cats can subtly dominate space. For instance, they often prefer elevated resting places like the top of a bookshelf or a windowsill. An interesting study revealed that this behavior is a throwback to their wild ancestry, where higher places meant safety from predators and a good view of potential prey. Affection and Interaction Picture a male cat, they're often the ones keen on initiating affection, wrapping themselves around your legs or leaping onto your lap without an invite. This endearing behavior isn't random. According to scientific studies, male cats, in their natural wild setting, don't have as many responsibilities as female cats. They aren't tied down with the task of raising kittens, which allows them more free time to chill out and be sociable. This sociability extends to their interactions with humans, making them seemingly more affectionate and cuddly. Female cats on the other hand, often maintain a certain air of dignity and aloofness, watching the world from a high perch or a cozy corner. This isn't them being snobbish, it's a trait embedded in their DNA. Female cats are programmed to be solitary hunters and protectors of their offspring. They're constantly vigilant and naturally more independent. This behavior translates into domestic settings, making them more aloof at home. However, every slight show of affection from them, be it a slow blink or a gentle headbutt, is a significant indicator of love and trust. Now let's delve into how you can enhance your connection with your cat. For male cats, leverage their love for physical affection. Regular gentle strokes and chin rubs can go a long way in establishing a bond. Playtime is also crucial. Engage them with interactive toys and games, which not only satisfy their playful instincts but also help develop a deeper connection. With female cats, understanding and respecting their space is key. They appreciate it when you let them come to you for affection rather than forcing it on them. Also, create a safe and cozy environment where they can retreat when they want some alone time. Play time. Cats are natural-born hunters, and while that mouse dashing across your living room may not be real, the instinct to hunt in your cat certainly is. But here's the intriguing part, the hunting styles of male and female cats are surprisingly different. Let's talk about female cats first. Have you ever noticed how a female cat will sit for hours, quietly watching a toy or a bird in the yard with an unwavering stare? This is a testament to their remarkable hunting skills. Research shows female cats are more adept at hunting, a characteristic inherent to their nature. In the wild, female cats have been the primary caregivers to their offspring. This required them to be proficient hunters, capable of providing food for their family. This hunting aptitude hasn't faded even with domestication. It remains a vital part of their behavior, making them fascinating creatures. For play sessions with a female cat, anticipate a more focused and intense interaction. Toys that mimic the movement of prey, like feathery toys on a string or toy mice, can stimulate their natural hunting instincts, offering them both a mental and physical challenge. Turning to male cats, their hunting style is infused with a hint of playfulness. It's like a game to them. Ever seen how they jump at the sight of a crumpled paper ball? 
This action-packed enthusiasm is deeply ingrained in their behavior. They may not be as methodical as the females, but they are equally involved. Scientists believe this playful hunting approach is a residue from their wild past. As territory defenders, male cats had to keep away the intruders, and this lively play could be an instinctual practice for such confrontations. Playtime with a male cat is likely to be a high-energy session filled with sudden bursts of activity. Male cats are known to love their night marathons, often becoming super active when the lights go out. These late-night activity bursts can be managed with interactive toys to help them expend energy when you're ready to sleep. A laser pointer or toys that encourage them to jump, chase, and pounce are great for keeping them entertained. Spraying and peeing behavior. It's true that male cats spray more, and their pee smells a lot more potent. Science tells us that male cats' urine has a higher concentration of a specific compound called felonine. When exposed to air, felonine breaks down into a sulfur compound which gives it that powerful odor. This is their version of marking territory, signaling their availability to female cats. So is there anything you can do to stop your male cat from turning your house into a smelly mess? Good news, there are a few strategies. One of the most effective ones is neutering. Neutering drastically reduces the hormone-driven behavior of territory marking. The other strategy is to create safe zones. If you've got multiple cats, making sure they each have their own territory within your home can reduce spraying. This could be as simple as assigning each cat their own bed, feeding area, and litter box. If outdoor or neighborhood cats are visible from inside your home, your cat may feel the need to mark their territory. Using blinds or opaque films can help reduce your cat's visibility and their urge to spray. You might also want to consider using synthetic pheromones. These can help your cat feel more secure and less inclined to mark their territory. Female cats spray less frequently, but they aren't completely innocent. When a female cat decides to spray, it's usually a stress signal. Female cats are very sensitive to changes in their environment, a new pet or family member, or even a change in their daily routine can all lead to stress. When stressed, female cats might just decide to spray as a way of expressing their feelings. So how can you help your stressed out female cat? It's all about making them feel secure. Maintain a consistent routine and ensure they have a quiet space they can retreat to when things get overwhelming. Roaming behavior. When it comes to roaming, male cats are notorious explorers. Their drive is the irresistible call of a potential mate. This instinct is so strong, they're willing to risk unknown territory and potential dangers. Female cats roam as well, but they're often a little more reserved about it. They tend to stay closer to home, maintaining a smaller territory. These ladies are more concerned with keeping their space secure, ensuring they have a safe environment for their potential kittens. But when the mating season hits, female cats might venture further. Regardless of whether your cat is a homebody or an adventurer, managing their roaming tendencies is key. So make sure to cat-proof your home and garden for your kitty's safety. Social behavior and anxiety. Did you know that male cats often wear their hearts on their paws? Many studies show that males seem to enjoy human interaction more than females. You'll often find them lounging around their favorite people, purring away in absolute contentment. That's not to say that every male cat is going to be the life of the party, but statistically, they tend to be more social. This increased sociability can be traced back to their ancestors. In the wild, male cats were more reliant on their social circle, while females were generally more solitary. On the other side of the coin, female cats may be a bit more reserved when it comes to socializing. This doesn't mean they're antisocial, they can be just as affectionate and loving, just in their own unique way. In fact, female cats can develop deep connections with their humans. They may show their affection subtly, perhaps through a gentle nudge with their head or by quietly sitting next to you. Female cats are also often considered to be more susceptible to stress or anxiety, especially in new situations or environments, as they strive on routine. What can you do about it? First, try to make any changes to their environment gradually and calmly. Suddenly changing their food, moving furniture, or introducing new pets can be quite stressful. Another great tool is play. Engaging your cat in regular play sessions can help them to release pent-up anxiety and feel more relaxed. And did you know that spaying and neutering can drastically affect your cat's behavior? 
After neutering, male cats are often less likely to roam. The drive to find a mate is gone, so they'd rather stick close to home. They might also spray less. Plus, you might notice a decrease in aggression. Don't worry though, your playful cat won't lose their personality. They'll just be a bit more chill. Now let's shift to female cats. After spaying, they won't go into heat anymore. That means no more yowling at all hours and no more restless pacing. Just like males, they might also be less likely to roam. So you won't have to worry about them going on unsupervised adventures outside. They could also become more affectionate. We love our cats, but have you ever had that creeping suspicion that your cat doesn't return the feeling? Check out this video, where we talk about 7 signs that your cat doesn't love you as much as you'd hope. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline loving community.